Hey everyone, welcome to Wednesday's video. Don't mind my voice, it's kind of horrible, um, and it's like really bad. And I really just, I don't understand why. It's just really bad. Um, and I can't figure out why. It's just been like this, like, all day. Um, but anyways, so for today's video... I'm going to be showing you guys what I keep in my essentials bucket. Now, what if you if you don't know what an essentials bucket is, it's basically this bucket I have next to my next like everything. And I keep every product in here that is a hundred percent absolutely essential to owning. Like I need to have it. And it's just there because, like, it's right next to it because I use it all the time. Um, so, yeah. I'm just getting it started um, with the first thing is my Sergio Garcia um, lip balm, which I keep in, I keep next to it only because it's little, so I don't want it to get lost in there. But basically, it's a mint flavor lip balm, and it's very hydrating. So... Pretty nice. It's a really nice product, too. Then, moving on to everything I keep in my bucket. The first thing that I keep in my bucket is my Body Shop Papaya um, Lotion, which was actually on sale. And <clears throat> I got it um, only for $5, and they're normally like 20 bucks, So it was pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, it smells like papayas. And this is really nice for your body and stuff. And yeah. Then I keep my Mary Kay Satin Hands Cream in here, which is very nice for your hands. It just makes your hands very soft. And yeah, I keep that in there. Most of these products I use at night, so they're kind of just here, you know, whatever. Then <clears throat> right now I have my current um, favorite perfume in here. It is my... Sun Kissed by Pink perfume, which I don't even know. Coconut water and sunny vanilla. I could see that. It smells really good though. And then I just have the matching lotion in here too, just in case I want to switch it up. I have a lot of lotion in here because I use like I switch it up every night. So just to get through the lotion, I don't want this to fall over. I also have, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm really sorry about my voice right now, um, the Orange Sapphire Triple Moisture Body Cream in here too. This is another one that I really like for the body, so I keep it in there in case I want to switch it up. Um, I also have the Blooming Sweet Pea Body Lotion, which works very well for the body as well. The Moisture Recovery Lotion, which is a very good product for um, dry skin. So, recommend it if you have dry skin. Then, I also have in here, for lotion, like for my face, I have three of them. I'm trying not this book, it's like about to fall over. I have my Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion, which if you saw my nighttime review, or no, not my nighttime, my nighttime um, Get Ready With Me, this is the lotion that I use on my skin daily. Like, it's my moisturizer that I always use on my skin. Um, if my skin's starting to break out, I will use the Cetaphil Gentle um, Lotion um, as a, a moisturizer. And then I also have the Curel um, Moisturizer as well. That's also in here, too. That's another face lotion. Then <clears throat> I also have in here my makeup remover. I have the Bare Minerals Instant Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. Um, this is just in here in case I'm going to remove my makeup. Um, I normally use, oops, my god, everything's falling over, um, the Aloe Vera Epiel Cleansing Wipes, which um, gets a lot of the makeup off. And then if I'm wearing waterproof, I like to follow it up with the Bare Minerals one because then that one just gets all the waterproof makeup off, so it works really well. Then I also have the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze Self Tanning Lotion. This I use only in the summer, um, just to keep myself a little bit bronzer. Um, I don't use it a lot, and it's streak free, and it's the only thing I found that doesn't make you look orange. Um, but it's also not as bad as fake tanning either. 
Then also in here I have my toner, which is my acne stress control from Neutrogena. Um, this is a really good toner for dry skin and oily skin, and it gets rid of everything. It pulls out everything in your pores, and it unclogs them like crazy. It's like the best toner I've ever found. Then also in here I just have a body mist in case I just want to spray myself before I go to bed, because I do that sometimes because I'm weird. But it's the Hawaiian Ginger one. It just smells like tropical. It's kind of like um like a coconutty pineapple kind of scent. So it just smells really good. And then I like to use a face mask um at least twice a month. I at least try to um if I can. So I have my face mask in here. It is the April facial mask that I wear and I love this face mask because I like face masks that they kind of like tingle when you put them on because I, then you know they're working and I like stuff that you can tell that they're working because that's like, that's the best way to know. Then I have my Enraging Eye Cream. This is, you saw in my last video, or no, my Friday video, um, my um, products that I use at night. Um, there's this one that I keep in here, and that's just for under your eyes, it reduces puffiness and stuff. And then the last two products I have in here <clears throat> are from the same company, it's the, um, Schwarzkopf, um, Got To Be, and I have the Kinkier, which is a curling gel, and it's a very good curling gel, it's like, it's a spray in gel, and it works miracles on my hair, so... There's that one. And then there's also um, Guardian Angel, which is a um, heat protectant spray, and it guards up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. That is what I have in here. Yeah, that's basically all I have in my essential bucket. My essential bucket is now empty, completely empty. It's very dirty in there, too. Oops. Um, but yeah, basically my whole desk is covered in products right now. <laughs> YOLO. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, once again, sorry about my voice. Can't really help it. Feeling like crap for the past couple days, but you know what? Whatever. Um, and yeah, I will see you all on Friday with a review video. And yeah. So... Don't forget creativity takes courage. Adios, amigos.